This talk is a special request from one of our followers who wanted me to talk about reinforcer assessments, which should not be confused with stimulus preference assessments. Preference assessments are just that. They're there to assess the stuff that people prefer. But reinforcer assessments assess if those preferred stimuli are actually effective as reinforcers. Like, do they increase responding? And we need to know this because we need strong reinforcers for successful treatment. I'm gonna discuss four types of reinforcer assessments. The first is the concurrent schedule reinforcer assessment, which assesses reinforcers when there are different contingencies for different behaviors that are occurring at the same time. However, they're independent of each other. So basically, the potential reinforcers are competing against each other. So imagine a client has choices of behaviors to engage in, and each one has a different schedule of reinforcement. And the idea is that the behavior with the higher rates of responding is the one with the more reinforcing schedule. Then we have my favorite, probably because it's easy, the in the moment reinforcer analysis. This assessment is literally conducted in the moment that the presumed reinforcer is presented. And if the client has an emotional reaction that can be interpreted as motivated or excited, then this is what we use for that moment's program. It's not just arbitrary stuff though, it's the stuff we've assessed in preference assessments. Then there is the multiple schedule reinforcer assessment. This one looks for the most effective reinforcement contingency when there are two or more schedules of reinforcement available for the same behavior. And only one schedule is in effect at, the, at, at a time, and there's an SD that lets the client know what that schedule is. And then responding is compared for each of the different com, uh, presented contingencies. And well, you know the rest, higher response rates means that that contingency is the more reinforcing schedule. And finally, the progressive ratio reinforcer assessment. This basically looks to see how much responding we can get from one potential reinforcer or schedule. The response requirements are gonna be systematically increased, but the reinforcement stays the same. And the client's behavior establishes for us how far that reinforcer can go by when they stop responding. And that's called the breaking point. That's just them letting us know this is as much as they're willing to do for this particular reinforcer. Okay, I hope that helps.